ladies and gentlemen, Cornish lad here once again with Hearts of Iron 4, the Fiona Like mod, the Zeely Cleek Let's Play. Yes, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, it's going to be very massively great. So, in the last episode, we decided to read the backstory of the Zeely Cleek. They were once the greatest thing in China. Now, thanks to these bunch of twats, they're now small and them bunch of twats as well. They've been set back many times. But we've uh, we're already getting through the officers and all that. We're getting the country. Well, the Zili clique be stable, and uh, we also saw the great collapse of the Kuomintang government. Now a massive, I think five way four, uh, five way four, five way war is happening as well. So we got the Kuomintang clique, the National Revolutionary Army the Guang, the Guangdong clique and also the Guang, uh, yeah, the Guangxi clique as well as the KMT themselves. See what happens here uh, if the Kuomintang government collapses most likely that it will I think. So the Russian, oh the Russian state now exists national populist, bloody hell it's changed, Russian Republic now it's the, uh, now it's the Russian state. Ah! A dinner for two. The Emperor of Japan, or the, Jap the Japanese Empire, Hirohito, visited our proud nation yesterday. The occasion was dinner with Wu Pai Fu and a discussion of a possible resolution to the Feng Shui problem. It seems that they did not come to any conclusive solution in regards to this, but it was a nice evening nonetheless. Yeah, they'll stay friends for now. Just you wait. Something big will happen, I bet. Ooh, it's it's a two-way fight in the Spanish Civil War. Republicans against the monarchs. It's pretty much like the English Civil War. Roundheads against the Cavaliers. Parliamentarians, the Royalists. And there goes the London stock market. Just like that. Absolute kick in the teeth. Boom. Republic of Turkey declared war on the Ottoman Empire. Yep, the Republic of Turkey collapses and the uh, Ottomans reappear out of nowhere. Oh! Oh! The civil war in Brazil. Ooh, move it. There we go. Union of Brazil, the commies. I am right saying communist or socialist. Yeah, socialist. The Brazilian people's state, but to the autocratics and of course the United States of Brazil. They're all now at fight. The entire, pretty much the entirety of the world either falls into some formity of a mass collapse and plunges in a civil war. The Hamburg Commune. Chaos in Kiel. Holy God, what? The Kiel zone has been incredibly turbulent since its inception. Originally established in an occupation zone of the Entente, oh, of the Entente powers in order to maintain control of the Kiel Canal. It proved to become a hotspot for German socialists and also became the birthplace of a strange prototype ideology known as National Collectivism. 1927 saw the uprising of the First Hamburg Commune, which nearly achieved victory over Danish occupying forces, however, was barely defeated due to a combination of poor organisation on behalf of the Commune and few strokes of luck on behalf of the Danes. In recent days, uh, recent days sorry, the Danish administration in the kill zone caused a series of riots to escalate far beyond their control, instigating the uprising of the second Hamburg Commune. Well, that's new. And wait, what is this? Hey, eh? Regno d'Italia. <gasps> the Volkists are in, but Umberto II is still in charge. We've not got a single naval base, don't we? Oh my lord. Not one. Oh, Guangxi's gained. Guangxi's getting thick, boy. I don't think the county is going to survive this. Although the Guomindang clique ain't going to survive this either. We have no naval bases. Why did I think of that? Shit. That's the Shangxi clique. Authoritarian. See, wrong flag, mate. Wrong flag. Bad flag. Um, so, come on. I feel like a knobhead in a minute. 
<laughs> anyway. Oh, white piece. For the... Re oh, it's an entire white piece. Kuomintang, Guanji, and the uh, National Revolutionary uh, Army. Is the Kuomintang white piece? Yeah. They've all white pieced. Hmm. What's the plan? What's the plan? What's the next big event then? Oh, the Russian Empire now. It's gone from the flipping... Hey, it's gone from a republic to a state to an empire. Oh, you see, yes, it's the British East Indies. I think this is an attempt, for, uh, attempt at liberation. So now it's it's still national populist, but now they have the Tsar. Kirill I. Uprising, yep. Another revolt. Oh! Oh dear. So the Brazilian people's state might win this one. We'll have a look at Spain. I don't think the monarchs are going to win that one. Oh, hold on. The Manchurian raiders appear on border pro in Brot. What? Oh. The Manchurians have sent their pig dog raiders to our border promises to steal our resources and damage our victories. Reports coming in that they have also stolen machinery from our factories. Before local militias and other armed groups could respond, they escaped back across the border. It became clear that they, that they are operating in tandem with the Manchurian army. <sighs> Bastards. And the Ottoman Empire is dead. Right, organised militias. Cross. Right. No. Imprison the leaders and disperse the militias. They are no use to us all. The officers could provide you or disperse the militias. So, integrate then. Good idea, I think. It's probably the only idea, uh, only idea we got. And so the Republican of Spain has won their civil war. Molotov is the new premier. Hey, what is this? Red Republica uh, Latine. Italo Balbo has now control. Well, now controls. Oh, now controls Italy, which means, as a Volkist. Oh, he's got his own... Oh! Five. Five factions exist. The Continental Entente. The Imperial uh, Protection Alliance. Stahlpact. Third International. And the newest one, Latin Federation. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. And the Kingdom of Portugal has finally regained its lands from uh, the Portuguese Republic, eventually. We are surrounded by enemies on all sides, by foreign imperialists, traces the Beying, Beying government. Former brothers in arms now turn against us. This is, I'm guessing, from Wu Pai Fu. All we have, my countrymen and people of the Zili state, is ourselves and the comrade, camaraderie between us. Let that go and what are we left with? Happiness? No. Fear. Fear and despair. Without your brothers in arms, the fight for freedom would be without hope and all would be lost. The Zili clique exists not as a reminder of what the Bayan government should have been, but what the people of China can be. We are not a group of unorganised rascals far from... In? Yeah. We're the Zili clique. Masters of all doctrines of war and instruments of battle. So if you have nothing to fight for, fight for, fight your brothers, fight for China. So we speech of Wu Pai Fu uh, this morning outside the Zili headquarters in Hefei. His men were quick to cheer, even if the words were not of the most profound kind. Grim Britain as the coming war has been brightened, if only slightly. We're going to end it here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also subscribe for more. And also hit that notification bell when the next video I do goes live. And uh, yeah, China pieced out. It's still broken. It's just spat, shattered in bits. We have, you know, rallied our brothers in arms to soon, I think, Feng Shui State will be a war. And <clears throat> the Russian Empire exists, a new Tsar. The Soviet Union wants the Caucasus as well as the Trans-Caspian government. Spain is now a republic. Hamburg Commune exists. I think that will die very soon. 
Uh, we have Volkism in Italy now. I think something big might happen in the next episode. I don't know. If you want to put your predictions down, then freaking hit them in the comments down below. And what's this? Oh, deploy units. We've got a lot of units to deploy, but have we got the logistics to do so? Oh, we do now. Well, that's not bad then. Cool. All right. Start deploying. Got to start deploying some troops, ain't we? There we go. Uh, and so there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. But yeah, if you think if you want to, uh, if you have a prediction on what's going to happen next, then freaking hit it in the comments below. And uh, I will hopefully see all of you lot in the next episode. Take care of yourselves. Cheerio.